following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button for the live stream. Smash the like button for the algorithm. Another way to help me with the algorithm, comment on the video. The more engagement I get, the more YouTube helps me out in the algorithm. So all you have to do is throw some horns down the comment section. Don't have to go into a diatribe. Don't have to type up a thesis. Just throw me some horns down in the comment section, and that way YouTube will help the channel grow. I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers, so hook a brother up. If you have a band, song, or a video that you want me to make a video on, get over to the Discord server. It's free to describe, to subscribe or describe. Either way, you're free to do it. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction request. Read the pinned message. Drop a link, a brief description. I will get to it when I can. Today's Discord suggestion is coming from Crash spelled with a K. He said, hey man, The Warning dropped a new track. Check it out. So today we are checking out the latest from The Warning, and I believe it is the recorded studio version on top of footage from a live performance. So today we are checking out Automatic Sun by The Warning, as suggested by Crash over on Discord. It's the wild side. Here we go. special too.
All right, there you go. That is the warning. Automatic Sun, the studio version on top of some live footage. You can see it down there uh, with the studio version, as suggested by Crash with a K from over at the Discord server. If you like Crash, have a suggestion, get over to Discord, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, read the pin message, drop the link. You know what to do, man. I will get to it when I can. I am running out of superlatives for these young ladies. It is incredible the non-stop growth that comes from their sound. So I want to make sure I do this uh, in order, not of importance or anything, but just of how it's in my head. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Pow, get, Pow gets more sound out of those drums than someone with twice as many drums as she has. It is incredible the the depth of the sound that she gets from a small kit like that. What it is 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 this really cool thing that she has that people like John Bonham had, um, Ginger Baker, Phil Collins. I'll, I'll say Phil Collins had it. Um, the ability to make it obvious the drums are heavy but it doesn't sound like you're beating the crap out of them. Th does that make sense? There's a smoothness to the implementation of the contact that the stick is making with the drum that is unique. So it creates this different effect. It has this power to it that makes you say, man, she is beating the daylights out of those drums, yet you can't hear it. There are drummers that beat the daylights out of their drums, and you hear it. You can tell they're they're beating it, not with pow. Again, the irony of the name is not lost on me. I find it incredible the ease with which that depth comes from those drums. It is natural. It is the heartbeat of the band. It really it's the pace. It's the cadence setter of the band. And it's done so smoothly that sometimes you may not even recognize it. And then it comes in and establishes itself as this heavy, monstrous weight. The bass, what Ali is doing on this bass is an entire rhythm section. She's not just playing bass. She's not just building bridges between the drums and the guitar, the drums and the vocals, the drums and the bass. She's not just building these, ba these, these bridges and running these fills and progressions. She's also creating this really cool rhythmic tone underneath that ebbs and flows between those drums and guitar. So Ale's ability to straddle that fence, if you will, of a rhythm section and be multiple instruments in one instrument, again, it's, it's just I run out of words to be like, dude, are you serious? Yeah, we're, it's cheat code is what it is, her ability to do that. And a lot of that comes with her relationship, her, her organic relationship with her sisters because she's in a place where she's, A, trusted by them to do that, B, she feels um, confident enough and emboldened enough to take on that task and allow her talent to come through. So if you, if you create any hesitation there, you're not going to get that sound. You're not going to get that really nice melding of tones. But because she is free to do it, I'm sure they have their arguments and stuff, but her organic confidence in that environment, this is why you can't cover a warning song. You can't do the guitar. You can't do the bass. You can't do the drums because they are dependent on the others being there with that creator. They are creating a sound a la Danny and Power are all creating sounds unique and individual to their collective. So it would be almost impossible to capture what they are doing, let alone have the ability to do what Ale is doing here, which is being your own rhythm section. So finally, I do want to get to Danny, her guitar playing, and the vocals. I love fuzzy guitar. I love it. I love the fuzzy tone from um, Mark Bolin and T-Rex, the shoegaze of the 90s, going all the way back to Bill Haley, Dick Dale. I love the fuzzy, fat-bodied sound. And that is particularly, that's cultural, that's geographic is what that is. And I like how she's using that, and it sounds natural. Uh, a great example of a fuzzy tone 
is um, Nutbush City Limits by Tina Turner. Mark Boland's playing guitar on that for them. It's a really great harmony, being able to harmonize a fuzzy tone with a vocal. And what I liked about it is she fuzzied her vocals. It's almost got that, when I first, when the track first came in, I thought, Audio Slave. And then as they're singing, I'm like, and with that fuzzy guitar, I'm like, okay, that's the Donna's. It's all of it again, but it's now modernity. So they're taking all these collective sounds and creating this modernity. So she's harmonizing the fuzzy vocal with the fuzzy guitar. And then the bass and the drums are creating these fills and bridges with that as well. Perfectly done. Perfect ebb and flow between her own harmonies and that guitar. And I will say this. This song is dirty, and that's the fuzzy guitar coming through. The song is vulgar, in a sense. The song is erotic in its um, breathlessness. But her vocals, Danny's vocals, completely envelop this song with innocence. There's a beautiful purity to her vocals and harmonies in this track that are dichotomous to the foundation of the song and it's brilliantly done again i run out of superlatives because these girls are so uh, so good at those layers because that's what music is it's just layers of sound and because they're so tight and because they're in that pocket together they they understand completely how to layer these tracks so each one is a banger from beginning to end because they understand the formula and the recipe that goes into that track. And when they turn it, when they turn themselves over to each other, you get this magic right here. So thank you very much, Crash, for that suggestion. Again, that is Automatic Sun by The Warning. I will link everything down below. If you, like Crash, have a song, band, video, something you want me to check out, get over to Discord, left-hand side, YouTube Reaction Requests. Read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description. I will get to it when I can. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit the buttons, man, notification and the like. And please help me out with the algorithm to help this channel grow. One of the most common comments I get is, man, this channel should be huge. Well, I can't do that without you and your engagement. It's one thing to watch the video and hit the like. I appreciate that greatly. But if you're not engaging, YouTube will not promote me in the algorithm. So all you have to do... Is drop some horns or some TWA, whatever. Something simple down in the comments, and that will help my channel grow. And then I'll be able to get you more of these videos and spend more time making these videos. And isn't that the overall goal for me to sit here in this chair and listen to rock and roll? So thank you very much. Get down in those comments. Drop your horns. Also, all of our social media, everything from YouTube to a P.O. box, if you want to send me goodies, is down in the description. So make sure you're following, make sure you're hanging out with us during the live streams and be part of the I Concur Army or the Concurpas as they call themselves. So again, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>